So I'm actually filming this by myself. It is currently, what time is it? 12.24 to be exact, so midnight. For those of you who do not want to get scared, who do not like scary stories, I suggest you click out of this video. But for those of you who do, welcome. Don't say I didn't warn you, but yeah. Before I start this story, let me just say that I do not condone anyone using a Ouija board at all. Don't touch it. I don't recommend it. I was young and curious and just, I'm a Slytherin, okay? I had a previous experience when I was 17. I'm not gonna go into detail about the first time that I used one, just because I really don't remember. I just remembered that I couldn't sleep for two weeks. This story is about the second time that I was around while other people were using a Ouija board and it was terrifying and I will never forget it. So let's get to it. This main story happened when I was 19 years old. I was hanging out with my sister and some friends. So one of my friends, we'll call her, we'll call her Sarah. Sarah gets a text from, we'll call him Adam. So Sarah gets a text from Adam saying that he's coming over to hang out and all that stuff, but him and the friend he's coming with decide to stop to get a Ouija board. I don't know why they felt the need to do that, but at the time, Adam was very into that sort of thing and had used a Ouija board numerous times and a lot of of freaky things happened with this board. Um, he even tried getting rid of it and it just, it would come back. I'm already getting spooked here. So when they arrived, um, I said, I do not want to touch the board. I don't want to touch the pieces. They said that was fine and that, you know, it would just be Adam who who would ask the questions and, and whoever wanted to touch it would touch it, but everyone who didn't can just like stay on the side. While they're using the board, we're all, it's all quiet, we lit candles and um, and it was dark, like we turned down the lights and it was like, there, there was like a definite spooky ambiance. So I sat outside of this, this circle and just watched as they asked questions and at first it was like, the first energy was very um, light, 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 and um, almost childlike. As it went on, um, it was almost like there was a sudden switch in um, in energy and suddenly it felt very hostile and almost angry, which is very uh, alarming and, and everyone could feel it. Everyone could feel the shift. Everyone knew that it was like some something different. Yeah, it was just like I didn't feel, feel secure. Nobody felt okay. Nobody felt safe. Nobody like everyone was kind of just like really creeped out. The the like the piece that you use to communicate, there's a figurine on the board of like a woman or something like that. The piece kept pointing at the eyes, uh, which already is friggin' creepy. When we all kind of came to the consensus that, okay, let's stop, this isn't, this doesn't feel right, and we were saying that out loud, okay, let's just stop, because it was just get, it felt volatile. And, uh, oh, I have chills right now. As we're like talking about stopping, suddenly we hear a crash in another room and we all just scream. So we were freaking out. Adam, out of fear, was like, okay, bye. And just like closes the board, um, which is not the proper way to close the board apparently. So we go check on the room and it was in the kitchen. There was a whiteboard on the fridge, I like stuck to the fridge and it fell and broke. And nobody was hurt, everyone was, was fine. We were just really shooken up and terrified. My friend Adam said, we should probably open it because in the moment I didn't say bye properly. So I think we should close it properly or else, you know, it'll like, it could latch on to somebody. We go back to the like living room area and Adam opens it up, he, he's very spiritual. So he just kind of said a prayer of sorts and then they, they closed the board. So we were done with that, we just talked a little bit more and um, everything was fine afterwards. Still, like we were still a little bit spooked, but we were okay. Me and my sister, we were about to go home 
and Adam was gonna go home soon as well. Adam gets a text from his brother freaking out and so I go to him and I'm like, are you okay? And he said, oh, it's just like my brother is just freaking out right now. His TV is acting weird or whatnot. This part just creeps me out. He tells me that his brother goes into his room and um, his TV is off, but on his TV, on his TV that's turned off, that has like a black screen, he sees an image. And this image is an image of an eye. His brother takes a screenshot of it and sends it to Adam. And Adam didn't really think anything of it, but I kind of just, when he told me that his brother saw eyes or an eye on his TV screen and it wasn't even turned on, I froze. This is not a coincidence. Like all that whole night, it couldn't have been. So I tell Adam, I'm like, wasn't the board pointing at the eye several times while contacting this thing? And he pauses and he stares at me and he's just like, shit, we were all very spooked after that. And uh, needless to say, I refused to be around one. That was a terrifying experience. There was nobody there that was a prankster that would do like elaborate pranks to make it seem like a spooky paranormal situation. Nobody. So I fully believe it. That's my experience. Hopefully you're not too spooked, but if you enjoy the story, if you found it interesting, if, if you believe it, then please give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any stories to share in the comment section, I would love to hear them. And like I said, please do not use one. It's not worth it. You're just, you're, it's just not worth it. You know, just go watch a horror movie and you're good. You know, you don't need to experience that. I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel and follow me in my YouTube journey. I upload once a week and um, lots of Harry Potter stuff, but also other lifestyle things and random stuff that I do. Yeah. For those of you who are scared right now, I'm giving you a big virtual hug from my computer to yours. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna go get some sleep because I'm tired and I'm scared. And maybe watch another Halloween movie, probably, while I fall asleep. Hmm. I will see you guys in my next video. Much love, guys. Happy Halloween.